He always would be my aunt. I don't know. What can I do? Body. Don't mind that. Hey, what's up with that, your clothes? Oh, that dress did not get delivered and I could not attend the party. You won't believe it. And I warned you. I she doubted me, actually. I exactly. could have done it perfectly. I feel you know. so terrible. Hmm. I know how it feels. Yeah, she said, I don't know. Oh, uh, oh, that one. Always wearing the headset like a rock star. You can't blame her. She's a musician. She has to feed her mind with music. Musician? Mm -hmm. Who does her? <laughs> Don't say it. She wish. <laughs> Sincerely, her voice is not that bad. Yeah. I wish I was 18 on her. Just stop calling her a musician. You can call her so um Cory Star. <laughs> I want to be a musician. Hello, you. Such a lucky chance. My point exactly. Oh. I think she's so proud and full of herself. She thinks she's fashion oriented. I don't know. You can say that again. I mean, no doubt she's good at what she does. The whole school knows that. If it was to be me, I'll be feeling on top of the world. On I top of the world because she's Beyonce. I wonder. Please, to me, calling a musician is just too much. She, she, she doesn't even do music professionally. Who cares? I do. In fact, the world does. <laughs> I think I agree. Debbie's making some valid points, Sha. I didn't say she's not. I mean, we all know it's not easy to do music in this part of the world. I beg, whatever. Enough of this girl's talk. Who we'll watched the project show this weekend? Chloe was a vibe on that show. Oh, she oh was my god. Did you, see, did you see how Maggie showed up? She was killing. Oh my god, she looked like oh a god. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. 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 Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. I was at a sick bay. You know, I went for some glucose because I was feeling really weak. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, do you feel better now? Well, I don't feel as bad as I felt earlier. Don't oh, worry. You'll Thanks. be fine. Soon. Thank you. <laughs> um, Abby, mm -hmm. have you done Mr. Odun's assignments? Mm -hmm. Leave Mr. Odun's assignment for now. There's something I need to talk to you about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, T, what's up with your music? <laughs> what's up with my music, as in how, what do you mean? What's there that you don't know already? I mean, like, what's the plan? What plans do you have? <sighs> Girl, you know I've got big plans for my music. I know, like, yes, I know, but what plans do you have to blow? Okay, this is it. I've heard it through years talking about how bad you are professionally in music. You know those girls are biologists. I know. But as bad as your comments may be, they still have some valid points, girl. You really need to step up in this your music thing. Okay. Like, get the studio session, record a song or a project, like an album or an EP, so that your song will be out there. So that people can relate with you as a professional musician. You know, you can make enough money from it digitally. You know, who knows? You might just get a record deal. Did they mention all this? They, no, no, they didn't. But I just think doing this will silence them completely. And moreover, it's the best thing for you to do right now. Because it's going to help your career, absolutely. I guess it's... I'll think about it. No, T. Don't just think about it. Put it into action. Okay, okay, girl. Um, I go. I'll talk to my dad. Good, good, good. Now, okay. have you done Mr. Odun's assignment? Of course I have. I trust you. Have you done yours? Yes, but I overheard that he'll be using that for our test, so I was thinking we should go over it. Ah, let's get to it fast. Let's I think go. we have his period now. Hey! Let's go. No way! <laughs> Look, you're cracking me up so much. And everybody will be wondering what's wrong with Cassidy, like. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let me just go up to my office and we'll talk better. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to ask, how come it's you now when to get parts for her? Uh, well, um, 
I lost my wife a little while ago. Your mom, she's late. Oh dear, I'm sorry. It's all right. Poor Rose. It must have been a bad day for Daddy and her. You can say that again. Daddy's called zero over hundred, all right? And I felt so ashamed that I couldn't even speak to her better about it. Well, but you know it's not so much of a big deal. Well, thankfully, our sisters took over. But I have made up my mind that from now on, I'll tackle issues heads on. I agree. You need to be well informed. Well, yeah. I guess that's why I have you, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, Daddy. Slow down. You have to pay consultancy fees. All right, all right. There's nothing wrong with that. You just send me the bill. Mm-hmm. Mr. Macho Man. I like that. Thank you. Look, I, I really wouldn't mind running into you again soon, yeah? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just leave it to chance then. Chance? I don't do chance, okay? How about next Friday? And what will we be doing? Um, we'll hang out. Hanging out? <laughs> don't you think we're a little too old for that? I like the way your mind works. It's interesting. Okay. How about I take you out on a date next Friday? Now that's better. That is definitely better. All right. I will go through my calendar to see if Friday works. Then I'll get back to you. Uh-uh. Okay, now somebody wants to play hard to get. Uh? <laughs> no, no. Nothing like that, though. <laughs> it's fair enough. It was nice talking to you, all right? And now we'll be expecting your call. All right, same here. Bye bye. <laughs> so, Valeria, that's him, Frederick. Hello. <laughs> it's okay. I'm feeling very, very, very sick. I can't walk. I can't call someone. Please. She's going there again. She can be so weird. As if that's the effect of too much book. <laughs> But hold on. But how can really make you so weird? I'm being serious. A lot of professors have literally gone mad. Wow. Yeah. Meaning we have to measure the amount of reading we do. Yeah, they keep telling us to read, read, read all the time. Lily, are you being serious mm. right now? What? Can't you hear Shadi spitting blocks and you're asking me silly questions? <laughs> I thought she would fall for it this time. <laughs> you guys must really think I'm stupid. You can't blame a girl for trying. Enough with it already. It was just a joke now. Chill. <sighs> you don't have to rush the food. You can save some for home. Never. <laughs> you want my mother to kill me? What? It's just food. Don't worry, I'll finish it here. Okay, but don't rush it. I'm scared you might choke. <laughs> Here's the internet. So your mom doesn't have to complain anymore. Wow, thank you so much. But how did you get it? Dad. Yes, baby. Can I have this modem? Why? Is the internet not working again? It is, but I just want to have this and more so. I don't think you're using it. Okay, you can have it. Thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Too tight. Oh, too tight. Oh. Sorry. Well, so we're back on track, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. Our topic today is human rights. What did I call today's topic? Human, human rights. Good. Before we proceed, can anyone amongst you give me a basic definition for human rights? Anyone? 
Yes, you. Human rights can be defined as the right that human have. <laughs> Um, that is not a definition. See, what you have done is quote back the topic, but in a more elaborate manner. Please sit down. Anyone else? Sir. Okay. Human rights are standards that recognize and protect the dignity of all human beings. Good. Put your hands together for that. Um, anyone? Yes, Bimbo. Human rights govern how individual human beings live in society, as well as the obligations the society has towards them. That is a very intelligent definition. Please put your hands together for her. Um, anyone else? Anyone? Okay, please write. Human rights are basic rights and freedom that belongs to every person in the world, from birth until death. They apply regardless of where you are from, what you believe, or how you choose to live your life. They can never be taken away, although they can sometimes be restricted. For example, if a person breaks the law or in the interest of national security. Now, is there anyone that can, I mean, mention the rights that we have in the country? Yes, you. Right to education. Correct. Another one? Yes? Oh. Right to have and express oneself. Good, great, 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 great. Anyone else? Um, anyone? Yes, Sir. Bimbo? Right not to be mistreated or wrongly punished by the state. Exactly. And that is where I want us to focus today. The government and the people. We should put that down. The government and the people. Uh, before I proceed, are there any questions so far? Questions? OK. Before you can claim the right of a state or a country, you must, first of all, know the laws of that state or country like the back of your hands. Yes, Bimbo? Um, how about those people that know of their rights, but the law and the police still choose to oppress them? There is that, and there is... Um, especially here in Nigeria. See, Bimbo, these things are not peculiar to Nigeria alone. They happen everywhere. But it's not as popular as it is here in Nigeria. Bimbo, I get your point, but this is it. Just like corruption, it happens in countries and in industries. Although the rates are high here, because this is where we live, but either ways, it is wrong. But then it begs the question, what is the usefulness of the human rights law if no one adheres to it? So the usefulness Bimbo has a point, sir. Why are these things so? Sadly, it happens unapologetically. And even the government in question here falls hands and does nothing about it. Exactly. The security of the states and the people are their responsibility too. Exactly. All right, all right, settle down, settle down. I understand you. You all are all right. So here's what we are going to do. You all are going to write an essay titled, The Country, My Dreams. I'll be collecting at the next class. I'm very proud of you all. Please put your hands together for yourselves. Also, I am glad that you all are intellectually stimulated to knowing your rights and the laws of the land. Unlike some. You and your accomplice should see me after this class. And don't allow me to point them out. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good day, sir.
再起来，再起来，再起来。Proposal, sir. Answer the question. Proposition. Quiet. Preposition. Oh, like conjunction. <laughs> Quiet. Your mind is obviously not here. Tehila. See me immediately after this class. Sit down. All right, good morning again, class. And she allowed you cook? Of course. I mean, this is not my first time cooking for everyone. So that you can mess up the kitchen and have us turn up after you. I think if you are meant to cook, Auntie Perpetua is supposed to supervise you. Bimbo, what is wrong with you? You just heard her say that Auntie Perpetual is not feeling fine. And remember, Auntie Perpetual is our help and not a slave. But I never said she was our slave. I know you didn't, but that statement you just made is that of a slave master's statement. I've not used my opinion to heal her, and I have the fundamental right to have an opinion. What does it mean? It's so obvious you just learned that because you're so quick to use it. Well, I'm just reminding you. And you, please, once you're done, make sure you clean the kitchen since you have decided to explore your right of choice. And please hurry up, dinner is getting late. Bimbo can be so weird at times. Well, that's what you get for choosing an intending lawyer sister. Choosing? Who said I chose her? She was forced on me. What about me? Oh, you two. You both were forced on me. Wow. Yes. Wow. But guess what? You both are lucky that I still love you. You have no choice. Hmm. But I was I cooking. Beef stew and spaghetti. With that much salt. Please, you even know how to cook. Hey, click, 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 click. It's almost dinner time. Stop. Oh. Those children have started again. Eh? Taylor, are you the one messing with the, the Wi Fi? No, but Dad, why are you asking that when you know who would be doing that? Rose! Look, the Wi-Fi is not working well, okay? Fix it. I'm trying to work. Now! Taylor, shut the door. Um, Dad, I wanted to see you about something. Or should I come back? Because it seems like no, 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 it's fine. Come on, take a seat. I'm not too busy to talk to you. Come on, take a seat. Is everything okay? What is it? Dad, there's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Bothering you? Nothing should bother you. That's why I'm here. What is it? I want to take this, my music thing, to the next level. How do you mean? Uh, I have a plan to record a project. A body of work, actually. Like an EP. Hmm. Well, shouldn't you just focus on one song and see how that works? Uh, I thought about it, and I feel like a body of work would give me better placement. Well, Taylor, I still don't understand what you mean. Okay, Dad, you know, if I were to release one track, then I would be known for that track alone. But if I were to release an EP, then there would be a variety of tracks that I'll be known from. And that would be an EP. 
Okay, okay, okay. So, in essence, it gives you more options or gives the fans more options to, to know more of you and hear more of you, right? Yes, Dad. And that's why artists normally record EPs and albums, so they can have a variety of songs. I'm learning. Yes, Dad. That's amongst many other reasons. Okay. But um, you think you're ready for, for this now? I've never been more ready in my entire life, Dad. Okay. So, what do you need Daddy to do now? I need you to be my executive producer. Well, all these terms sound like big names without profit. And you know, with me, time is money. I know that, Dad. Which is why you'll be my project sponsor. Meaning, as I release tracks, I'll be getting money and you'll be benefiting from it. Where did you learn all this? Research. I did my homework before coming here. Okay. So, in essence, you need me to fund your dreams. Is that what it is? Yeah, but you know I always give you my support. Now, what will you be doing? What's your role in all this? What I know how to do best, Dad. You know I love singing. Music is my passion from the bottom of my heart. And I'll be a good girl. <laughs> all right, then. I guess we have a deal. It's a deal. Mm -hmm. When do we start? Well, I've already begun. I'm working on some lyrics now, so by the time I'm done, we can hit the studio. I can't wait. Same. Thank you, Dad. I got you. Make me proud. Thanks, Dad. Okay? Yes. And ask Rose to leave the Wi-Fi alone. Yes, Dad. Thank you.